So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0430 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0430 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is monitoring the catalytic converter, and if it sees it drop below 95% efficiency, it'll send out this code because it thinks that it's failing. And bank two is always the side of the engine opposite of the number one cylinder. And so if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you find the side with the number one spark plug, and that'll be bank one, and then the opposite side of that is bank two, and that's the side that the computer is seeing an issue with. And some of the possible causes, it could be a failed catalytic converter, it could be a faulty oxygen sensor, it could be damaged wiring going on with the oxygen sensor or possibly an exhaust leak. And so when you get this code, the first thing you want to do is you want to locate bank two and come back on that side of the exhaust because that's going to be the side having the issue. And you're going to want to examine the O2 sensors since this is what sends the information back to the onboard computer for what's going on with the catalytic converter. So if one of these has an issue, then it might be reporting back bad data and there might not be a problem with the catalytic converter, but the onboard computer thinks there is since one of these has failed. And so there's going to be two of these oxygen sensors. There's going to be an upstream, which is before the catalytic converter, and there's going to be a downstream O2 sensor, which is after the catalytic converter. And so go through and check these out. Be sure to check out the wiring because any bad wiring, open, short, bad connection, anything like this going to the sensors can cause the same issues as a bad sensor. So that can cause problems. So you want to check that out. And you could test the sensors if they've gone bad, especially if the vehicle has a lot of mileage on it. But basically keep in mind that a bad oxygen sensor could be reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. And so if the O2 sensors look good and the wiring all looks good, then the next thing is going to be to look at the catalytic converter. And there's some things you could try before you replace it. And one of the main things is to run some kind of catalytic converter cleaner through it and see if you can't blow it out and get it working again. This is commonly done. Quite often it'll work. Of course it can vary. You know, some sometimes those catalytic converters are just too far gone. But this works for many people. And basically what it is, it's a fuel additive. You put it into the gas tank and then you take the vehicle onto a highway and you and you drive it like 10 15 miles you really blow out that catalytic converter try to get any build up inside of there get it blown out then you clear the code and hopefully it doesn't come back and this is a common technique this quite often works with cars that are just city driven they're not they haven't been revved up very much they're just hitting stop signs and stop lights and things like this and they haven't really gone out on the freeway or been blown out very much then this might work for you if you're going out on the freeway a lot and you know you're revving up that engine when you're going down the highway then it might not work for you. But it is something to try. I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But this is a common method many people use before they go to replace the catalytic converter. And so if you looked at all that, if you looked at the O2 sensors and they look good, you looked at the wiring going to them and that's all good, then very likely it's going to be time to swap out the catalytic converter and get it replaced. Now these could be kind of a pain sometimes. I mean, they're straightforward to swap out. Sometimes they'll just have bolts on either side and you could just unbolt them and bolt in a new one. Sometimes though, they will need to be cut out. It could just vary on the different Toyotas out there in the year and everything. And sometimes it can be kind of difficult to get removed. So it might be just time to take your vehicle to a shop at that point. But the next thing to do would be to replace out the catalytic converter. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0430 code? Well, first thing to do, locate bank two, which is opposite of the bank one where the number one cylinder is. So locate bank two, follow that exhaust back, and that's the side that's having the issue. You want to check out the O2 sensors, since they can sometimes cause this problem. If they've gone bad, they might be reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. Of course, usually if the O2 sensors have failed, then you'll get another code. But it is something to keep in mind that a bad sensor or the, or the wiring going to the sensor can cause this issue. And if that all looks good, then you could try to run some kind of catalytic converter cleaner through the vehicle and take it out on the freeway and try to blow out any buildup that might be in there and then clear the code and see if it comes back. That works sometimes, not all the time, but that does work for many people sometimes. And if all those things don't work, then it's probably time to go ahead and replace that catalytic converter. And then that should solve the issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with a P0430 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.